Guys, welcome to the video. We are out here. We're doing rain and nautica. I've got an intense set and I've got a couple great intents lined up for today. Um, yeah, nice bright day out. Familiar locations. Well, locations so far. But probably familiar locations and uh, I don't know. Fantastic commentary to go along with this adventure. Not, not really, my commentary kind of sucks. But anyways, just kidding. That being said, let's get into days. And yeah, start off by can't talking. Congratulate myself on commentary than not be able to talk. Anyways, with that being said, let's get into into today's video. All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, if you're new here, make sure to go down there, do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that share button. Make sure to hit that bell as well, so you know the moment a new Randonautica video or other Cursed Urban video is coming out. So make sure to do that, helps us out a ton. Um, and guys, uh, you, you guys who are here, you guys who are returning subscribers, members of the Cursed Crew, thank you so much for coming back, being with me on another video. Uh, let's go down there in the comments right now, and I haven't done this in a couple videos because I straight up forgotten. And uh, let's write, ready for rando, hashtag ready for rando if you're ready for today's video. Um, guys, and while you're down there, make sure to leave me in tents. Leave me in tents in, uh, in the comments because I burned through them pretty quickly. And yeah, so uh, today I have my intent set for something strange is about to happen. And that's from Ronald Sylvester. So thank you very much, Ronald. Sorry, I'm, I'm watching a uh, a turkey vulture fly around or something, something big. I don't know. But uh, yeah, we got that intense set. It's actually right over here. I was able to get a nice, nice close parking spot to it. And it's showing me it's right on that bridge. Yeah, it's showing me that uh, this intent smack dab on this bridge. <clears throat> Oh, excuse me. Sorry, I had, I don't, dude, I don't know what's going on. Like, something, I have had, like, had, like, something stuck in my throat all day. It sucks. Okay. Let's see what we got over here. So, we have been to this forest before. If this, if this area looks familiar to, to you, it should, because we have been here before. Right now, I'm looking for anything. That looks that could look familiar or like something we should f be able to find. I don't know why I said familiar. Well, I'll see some pain pills, some ibuprofen. <laughs> That's a kind of a weird spot for somebody to dump pain pills all over the place. The point is right here, guys. The point is literally right in the middle of this bridge. So let's take a look around, because yeah, I could be could be anywhere. I also don't necessarily like the intent of something strange is about to happen. I mean, I say I said it myself, and I'm like, I don't like that. So I guess <laughs> I guess I shouldn't say because I could have could have said it for something different if I wanted to, but I kind of chose it. So yeah, we're looking around here. Somebody just pulled up over there and parked. Somebody, somebody just pulled up there, guys. I think it's just another person here, like another. So, anyways, what's all that? What's all that, dude? See all that like glitter? Sorry, it's kind of dark for you guys. See all that glittery stuff? What is all that? So there is nothing up here though. Maybe I have to go. Oh, it looks like I it looks like I can go under here. Yeah, it looks like I can go under here. So okay, so maybe I should go down and explore uh 
explore down here underneath it. I can get down here without slipping. Okay, yeah, there's like a bunch of like glitter, like see right next to my shoe. Not like glitter, but like confetti and stuff all around here. And I saw I saw the ibuprofen, I know for a fact, a little blue pill. Super dry. I'm I'm kind of surprised this area is so dry because we just got like a ton of rain, an absolute ton of rain. Like I think like two and a half inches of rain out. Might be more out where I'm at, but like out by me, by my place, it's like two and a half inches of rain. And I know this where I'm at was more towards like where the where the worst part of the storm was. So yeah, it's just like, why is it, there's like confetti all over the place. You know what? You know what I bet that is? You know what? I'll put money on it. No, I won't put money on it. But uh, I bet you somebody was taking pictures on this bridge and they threw confetti for a picture. And uh, yeah, obviously it gets everywhere. Let's, oh wait, oh wait, I see something. I was literally about to say, well, I'm not seeing much, but there's something. There's something. You get out of here, so I'll have to squat down. Alright, let's take a look at this. So we do have dude, this is this is the exact look at this. Guys, this is the exact same thing, one of the exact same things that we found the other day. That was not on purpose. And if you guys watched the last video, I did the exact same thing. <laughs> Something strange is about to happen. I'd say so. That was, uh, that was, that was not intentional. I'm not hamming it up for the video. Nothing. Okay. If you haven't seen the last video, we just found one of those. The exact same thing. There's even writing on the back, just like the last one. And as soon as I found it, and I started examining it, I dropped it. And it just happened again with this one. Yo, dude, that's it's like it's like an it's like a repeat. <clears throat> so this one has like a symbol on the front this time. And on the back it's got some writing. I can already see the word return. Return is near return is near of course it is oh we're, we're the stalkers we we got to be ominous about everything thanks stalkers thanks for absolutely nothing so yeah no this is we found exact same thing i don't know if it's part of a set or what it's got to be but like this like this I don't, I don't know what it's supposed to be it looks like a rose in the middle and then on some type of like faux straw plate maybe or like a wreath or I, I i really don't know but it's supposed to be something like that and then there's a symbol looks like three lines maybe like one long line and then one there and one there the other one had a had a weird weird symbol and the weird thing about this whole situation is there's only one stalker that we had that um kept well i mean the, the uh, don't get me wrong the cult has put out a couple symbols before but um the one stalker we had we nicknamed mr slippery he went by the orchestrator he would always lead us leave us riddles and symbols on like everything everywhere like paper he'd write it on different like 
he'd write it on different like objects and leave them for us but he was the only other one and these these look more like like mr slippery symbols than they do the cults and he would always leave dumb stuff like this like really ominous stuff he really liked using like not like poems but kind of like crappy riddles that he'd make up that sucked and uh yeah it's, it's just very very strange very strange that we're getting these now and it makes me wonder if if mr slippery is coming back because this is literally like his stuff like almost to the t Yeah, it's, it's very bizarre. Very, very bizarre. So, I don't know, dude. Mr. Slippery's coming back. I don't like that because we've had a long history with this guy. He, uh, he harassed, harassed Max a ton. He, he loved Max for some reason. Break into his house. Went, went after Max Hart. He went after both of us. But, uh... But he went after Max. Super, is this guy... There's some other dude out here. There's some other dude out here. I was like, dude, what is this guy doing? Like, I thought he was, like, taking a leak or something. Like, because he, uh... Microphone on there. He can't set the camera down. Yeah, this guy like got out of his car, like took his gloves off, and then like looked around, turned around, and like started like, you know, fiddling with something. I'm like, is this guy taking a leak or what? And uh looks like he was just zipping up his coat and being weird. But uh <laughs> he doesn't look like a stalker. He's moving a little bit too slow to be a stalker. But, um, yeah, so, I don't know, dude. I, I really don't know, guys. Like, I, I am worried that this is Mr. Slippery returning. Because that's, dude, that's, that's literally the last thing I need. Is, a, is like, another stalker. Like, for real. Because we already got... It's the stupid cult. We got the the idiots wearing the, like the no face stalker, and his buddy with with crappy latex mask, and then we got potentially Mister Slippery. So, I hope you enjoy all the names that I I came up for for these clowns. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I don't know. This is a really tricky situation because if, if mr slippery's back dude like oh i already let max know i told max i was like yo like i've been finding because like you know i've been finding more and more symbols like mr slippery's old ones so i told max i was like hey dude like just to just to, like keep you posted you know i've i've i found like a couple symbols they really look like a like stuff mr slippery would leave I haven't found any riddles, but just like, you know, keep your guard up. Um, yeah, Mr. Slippery is pretty much the one who forced Max out of doing Random Nautica. Because he was like, you know, it's like I'm putting my family's safety at stake continuing to do this. Like, um, then Mr. Slippery finally left him alone after a while. And he's like, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to go hit the hornet's nest by continuing these videos so i mean i don't blame him like mr slippery was was a giant nuisance and he had to deal with like uh the radio man and like and max has had a bunch of like weird stalkers very aggressive stalkers i guess we both have but yeah so anyways sorry to ramble um Yo. Okay, here is the guy in question. 
Yo, okay, bro. We are, dude, we're gonna try something right now. We are going to try something right now. Okay, all right, dude. I wanna see if this works. He's getting back in his car. This is the guy that I thought was taking a leak. Okay, so. All right, so this guy parked, got out, zipped up his coat. He walked down this path right here, right here. And that's, that's where I was on the bridge. Now he's leaving, dude. Now he's leaving. So that's where I just was on the bridge. He walked up there. He walked up there and uh, here he goes. There he goes, dude. He walked up there, up there. And then there's a picnic table right there. He stopped there. I saw him stop there. He was fiddling with something. And then he got in his car. Then he walked back here, got in his car, and left. Bro, I wonder if that's a planter. Dude, I'm I'm running another intent right now. Son of a, come on. Come on, camera. Ugh, stay there. Dude, I'm running another intent right now. And if it if it spawns a point at that at that picnic table, I just straight up got a planter on camera. Okay. Who we got next? Okay, Dark Knight. Uh, we'll do your intent of old friends. And Nautica's open. Make my radius super close. All right, it's going. Old friends, old friends, old friends, old front. No, oh, we got one. Where is it? Dude, it's at that, dude, it's at that table. It's at that table. It's right where that guy was just at. Bro, are you kidding me? Dude, we're going there right now. We are going there literally right now. Dude, I'm, I'm not joking, dude. I got... I got that all on video. I, oh man, I thought it was just some old man taking a walk. Or else I would have filmed him the entire time. Yeah, dude, like I said, he parked right there. Came down here, and this is the this is the bridge. This is the bridge where we just found the other intent at. And then yeah, he was just over here. He walked down there, around, down the, over the bridge, and then came right over here. And uh, he was messing with something right around this area. So uh, let's see if there's anything here, dude. I could be mistaken, but dude, what's the co what, what, what kind of coincidence would it be for a dude to be parking there walking over and then just like walk back like that's not even a walk not even for an old person that's like literally like i, I could figure it out on video probably i was probably only talking to the car for three minutes three and a half minutes he just pulled up parked there walked fiddled around somewhere here i wasn't looking at him i was looking at the camera and went back so that'd be one big coincidence and then and then on top of it all on top of it let's not forget on top of that he I, or not he sorry i'm getting dude i'm getting like excited right now on top of that i put a random nautica intent in and it gives it to me in this exact spot that guy was what are the chances N not very high that's like that's like a, a very that's like a perfect combination of of events to happen all right in a row I don't think he went far I don't see anything on this table is there something over here
something here me excuse me there's now it's just a blunt wrapper just water I got anything under this rock nope oh oh we got something it's one of those same things dude I got one of these the other day yep and this one's head comes off too Yep, and there's a note in it. Whoops. There's a note in this. Okay. Money. It says mo Oh, wait. L for the money. I don't, you, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this. It's going to focus on it or not. L for the money. I'll try to show this to you guys as best as I can, but I don't, I don't know if it'll focus on something like this. L for the money. L for the money. One for the money. One for the money, that's the intent. Or not the intent, that's that's the message. One for the money. And then... Then we got this thing. We got like this uh, raggedy and doll, the head comes off. I don't know what it, I don't I don't understand the point of these like why the heads come off of them I, somebody knows let me know well we just found one of these the other day we just found one of these when did we find one I think like two videos ago maybe I found one with a note uh, I forgot what the note said so I think it was, it was some sort of threat I, I forget how they worded it but yo dude we got, and this is literally the spot he was in. This was literally the spot he was in. So I just got a Randonautica planter on video. I just got a Randonautica planter on video, dude. Man, Ugh. almost tripped. Dude, I gotta tell Max about this. Bro, we just literally got a random Nautica planner on a video. I know I said that like three times, but people have told me, people have told me, dude. People have told me, they're like, no, no, uh, random Nautica planners, that's not a real thing. Like, you don't, like, that's not right. They, they, they don't do it that way. Like, this and that. Like, no, no, no. Like, they do it this way. Like, everything's random. Like, so on, so forth. Blah, blah, blah. But that's not true. <laughs> There's people who plant the intents. And I finally have, like, proof of it on video, dude. Man, so I gotta stay vigilant. See if any of these other, see if any, any more of these guys show up. All right, okay. All right guys, so I figure I better fill some of you in with what's kind of going on. Um, so, Right now, there's probably gonna be quite a bit of talking. Cause I wanna get you guys up to speed. Cause some of you guys might be like, this might be your first video here. Maybe you haven't seen a lot of my other videos and you're like, Rand Nautica Planner, what do, what's this guy talking about? Has he been drinking too much hand sanitizer? Like, like what's what's he talking about? Um, okay, so I'm gonna give you guys 
the briefest rundown I can of rain and nautica planters. So I heard this theory a while ago uh, from exploring with fighters Dan back when he was doing rain and nautica. He came up with the, like this theory that there's like people who planted in tents and like. Um, I haven't seen all this random audio because I don't know if he found out if there's any teeth to it or not. But as I went on, I had that idea in my head and I kept seeing like people, like people who weren't like stalkers or anybody start acting very suspiciously. I don't think that's doing anything very suspiciously when I was out doing random nautica. like they'd come, they'd like be watching me, um, I, I have one on video that came that like pretty much came up to me like he saw me I was okay there's like two parking lots there's like one here a field and then one over here and there was a it was probably like 200 yards between each spot and it was this dude who I noticed just sitting in his Jeep for the longest time and I went and the point was by this tree at this parking lot down here. And I was looking on the tree, filming the tree, like looking for this intent. And then this dude was way over there. And I saw this Jeep leave. I, I It was kind of already on my radar because like, like he was just sitting in there. He was just sitting in there for no reason. Um, so I see this Jeep leave. He comes around and he doesn't leave like the forest. He comes and parks right next to my car. And just watches me like look for this intent and I'm, it's like that's really weird behavior like so i was like okay that's weird um very very bizarre behavior so that happened and then like um i had another incident where this one dude i came in and another, once again, another Jeep, and this, this one dude was like, he was sitting there watching me. He was watching me as I was like looking for this intent. Like I saw him once when I came in, I stopped, I parked, looked for the intent. Then he like, while I was out there, he like relocated so he could see me. And then I came out, then I found it. I came out, um, turned around and parked like I was I was parked and I was facing like towards the entrance and this dude comes um he comes up and he like he's coming around the bend he sees me he does a u-turn goes back into the forest and then I'm like all right like that's that's weird I have this on camera too I'm like all right that's really weird so then I turn around and I leave and then I look back and he's turned out after me too. So I dip out of there and he didn't follow me or anything, but yeah, it was really weird. And now, and now this incident today, I, I'm sitting here talking to you guys. This car pulls up, old man gets out, walks over the picnic table, walks back. Like he spends like, I, I, I wasn't paying attention to him, but like 20 or 30 seconds there walks back out, gets in his car and leaves. And then I set a point and it, it gives me that like, bro, like I, I just, I just filmed all that. Like I have that on, like you guys saw it. It's not like I was explaining like, Oh dude, there's this guy that's pulling up like, Oh yeah. He's driving a car. He's got a jacket on dude. Oh wow. Like I showed you guys like, look, um, I just, oh, man, that, but what, yeah, what does suck is I wasn't filming the table when he was there, but like, <sighs> dude, I, I, I think it's 100% safe to say I got a, a planter on camera. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's, that seems what it is, dude. If that's true, this if if that is true, that could change the scope of Randonautica for everyone because we we now have things to look out for. And here's the thing, and I know this is going on along. If you guys are bored, please just skip this. I'm I'm doing another intent in a second, but um, 
another thing with these with these planters, uh, like people are like, why? Okay, so w I get a few things like a few pushbacks on that theory, which is fine. Like I hope it. I'm very open for like like people saying, oh, did you think of this angle? Like maybe it's not that. Um, so one of the things that I get a lot is people say, um, like, well, there is no app for planters. Like, you know, Brandon Nautica, like, has nothing like that. And, uh, okay, like, that's fine. Um, Brandon Nautica has nothing like that. Okay, sure. But we think that it might not be related to Rain and Nautica. We think this could be an entirely separate app. It might not even be an app. It might be like a game these people play. Because this dude, this dude was, he saw me in the car and he didn't care. Like uh, he saw me in the car. He just wandered over there, did his thing. And it was an old man too. Uh, he was probably, probably pushing 80. It was an old man in like, he saw me, he didn't care, he went about his business like old people do. Um, I mean, they don't, like, I say that because old people don't care what we think about them. They, you know, they, they're old, they don't, they do whatever they want. And, uh, yeah, so he goes over there. So, what I, it could be like some sort of like scavenger hunt thing. Like, okay, bring this object, set it here, and maybe you get like a small amount of money. Like, you get like, you know, you bring, you find this object like at the store or around your house and you bring it here and you set it there and you know, then like somebody pays you like $2 to do it. You know, if that's, if it's something like that, like obviously that'd be lucrative to somebody who's retired. It doesn't have anything to do all day. Like, you know, he goes out, he finds all these little objects. Um, and, uh, yeah, s sets them around. Um, and gets, you know, makes a little bit of pocket change when gets some exercise. It's a win-win for him. He gets out, gets to do something, stay active, you know, consume some time. Now th I'm just spitballing theories right now, but I think it's something like that. I think it's, it's not connected to Rain and Nautica. I think it's an entirely separate thing. Um, people have no idea what exactly they're doing. There could be special instructions like, Make sure the guy picks the make picks the thing up, like make sure this person picks the thing up in the scavenger hunt. That's part of the mission. Um, like leave a note in there that says this. Um, yeah. So I don't I don't know, but that's that's interesting. I know this is good. This talking part has gone on for way too long, but I'm sure that you guys, a lot of you who are interested in. The inner workings of Rain and Nautica are probably going to find this pretty interesting because I think, I think I'm the first person to actually get like that whole thing like unfolded in front of me. <sighs> or it was all a coincidence. The old man parked there. He walked up, you know, he went on a two minute walk. That intent was already planted. You know, maybe, maybe it is a coincidence, but it just, just doesn't seem like it. I don't know, but yeah. All right, I'm going to shut up now. We're going to run another intent. All right, we just pulled up to our next intent, our next point. And this is, I believe, Deadly Intentions from uh, Dino and Pick's Cursed Crew. So thank you guys very much. Oh, excuse me. Um, guys, if you notice... They have a Cursed Crew attached to their name. Guys, if you want to be a part of the Cursed Crew, it costs absolutely nothing. Just throw Cursed Crew in the title of your name. Be a member of the crew. Um, absolutely free. Free to join. Free to change. Whatever you want to do. So if you want to be a part of the Cursed Crew, go for it. Um, would love to uh, love to have you representing the channel in uh, in your tag. But anyways. So we're going to go out here and we're going to look for this. Um, this is Deadly Intentions. So I don't know uh, if this is... It's probably not going to be anything good. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Um, the point is literally like right in the middle of this. Of this whole mess. So... Uh, 
What was that? What was that, dude? It had a really high pitched noise, like uh, like like some weird bird, like chirping, like squawking, or uh, like somebody hitting their brakes, or I don't know. Let's go out here and see what we can find. So a lot of trees to look through. This is the worst part of it all. There's a lot of like, they like to hide in tents and like tree trunks, stuff like that. And the point's like right here. So I guarantee you, guarantee you this is hidden somewhere. If there is something out here, maybe there's not, I don't know. She's got thorn bushes out here. Uh, all sorts of stuff that I don't like. Oh, that looks promising. Is there anything in there? No. Dude, there's so much stuff to look through. Oh, I think we got lucky today. I see something right here. We got a box. We got a glass. Oh, dude, what the? Yo. I just got a glass box filled with... My eyes don't deceive me. Bullet shells. How's that fit? We're bullet casings. How's that fit for deadly intentions yeah what do you guys think of that for deadly intentions really cool glass box too really nice metal it looks like it's kind of like stained glass looking thing and then yeah then we got just filled with with bullet shells we got a chain to keep the door from Flying off. Very weird. Making sure nobody else is coming. I don't want them. Don't want anybody to see me like looking through a box of bullet casings and freak out and call the cops or something. Dude, this is this is really weird. There's so many too, and I bet it's all nine mil. Yep, nine mil. Nine mil. Nine. Nine. Yep, here comes somebody right now. Shut that. But yeah, that's it's very, very odd. Very odd. You can pay attention. I'm gonna pretend like I mind my own business. Pay attention to what this car is doing that's coming up on me. So yeah, very strange find out in the woods. Yeah, there goes that car. They were, uh, <laughs> they were staring, they were staring hard. I mean I, I look I mean I know I look kind of funny right now. I always look kind of funny, but and I look kind of funny right now because I'm just filming a picnic table and I have the microphone face on the camera facing backwards. So it's like just this this huge like 10 inch microphone just sticking out of the back of the camera. Like it looks really odd right now. So yeah, I, I can I can understand why they why they were staring. But uh dude Yeah, so we got this. Man. I'll bring it with me, but really weird find, especially for deadly intentions, dude. I don't I don't like that one bit. It's very, very unsettling. Pro tip. 
always keep a roll of Gorilla Tape in your car whenever possible. Not duct tape, not masking tape, Gorilla Tape. Stuff is the best. Um, Cause that, that box was like, it didn't have a latch on it. Surprisingly, I thought it would. So I was like, I was trying to put it in my bag and like the shells were like spilling out. So I just Gorilla Taped it shut and I was like, yeah, yeah. So always make sure to keep tire plugs and Gorilla Tape in your car and you're set. Um, but yeah, no, it's very, very odd, intense. And uh, I'm trying to decide if I want to run, if I want to run another intent or not. I think I might do one more. I think I might want to do one more since we still got plenty of daylight because I don't want to be out tonight. So, yeah, so sorry guys, for those of you who like uh, nighttime randonautica, this is gonna be a, a daytime randonautica, just cause, you know, for my own safety today, I just, I'm not feeling nighttime. So, all right guys, let's uh, let's do it. I'll run one more and uh, see what we get. And this time I'm gonna use one of my own intents. So, fingers crossed. Okay guys, we just pulled up two. The last point in this one i set the intent as the missing link the missing link and i want to set it as that because we need the missing link between all excuse me all the stuff that's going on so it brought me to a spot brought me to a point right down here sorry if uh, the wind noise is kind of bad just realized how windy it really is out here dude it's it's a very very windy day so yeah the points right here Let's see if we can't find anything Let's see if there's nothing hiding Amongst the trees. <laughs> and this is actually going to have to be my, uh, my last point today because, um, I very stupidly forgot my other battery for this camera at home. This bad, this camera just drains batteries like nothing. So yeah, I have 36% left. That's good for about 20, 25 minutes, and that's it. I can plug it in and charge it, but it, it charges like 1% every two minutes. So uh, yeah, if the battery's not on the charger, even with the battery on the charger, it takes forever. So. This actually is working out quite well because, yeah, this will be my, my last intent. And, yeah, sorry for that wind noise, guys. It is, it's really picking up around here. So if you can hear it, like, I mean, I got the I got the, uh, the, the microphone on it, which usually cuts down the wind substantially, but my wind might be too strong for that even today. So if it's really windy and there's a lot of noise, I apologize. see anything over there shut up goose rock boom oh oh I didn't even make it to the waters ran landed in some sticks lame you know, I used to be a professional rock kicker back in the day. Kicked many rocks into the river from the shoreline. I actually won a few awards for it. Not really. And uh, I hope, uh, hope nobody believed that, but I'm sure somebody did. <laughs> really? They have contests for that? You get to be a professional rock kicker? 
Oh, how do they do the score for that? I can see it now. I can see it now. Oh, man, guys, I, I am not seeing anything. Nothing out here. I think, uh, I think, I think we might have, might have a dud. And there's nothing over here either. I think we might, might have a dud for an intent today. Yeah, I don't see anything. Yep, okay, so, uh, I think we're, ta we're gonna take an L on this one. I don't see any type of object out here. I'm not seeing anything, excuse me. Maybe I beat the planter out here. Maybe I was supposed to get here a little bit later than I did. Maybe I was supposed to set the intent a little bit further away. I don't know. Oh wait, here comes somebody. Somebody's coming right now. We'll see uh, See what they do. So, it's gonna act cool. Gonna act cool, pretend, uh, pretend I'm taking some pictures out here. Oh wow, look at this river, guys. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, wow, look at these shots I'm getting. Mm-hmm. Okay. And... And there they go. There they go. Heading out. So they just did a loop around here and left. So I don't know if that was uh, anybody uh, that, that I was supposed to be looking for or if it's just a random passerby, but. that's the thing like you don't want to assume every single person has something to do with randonautica because not every single person does have anything to, something to do with randonautica but like when you get into the uh when you get into the mindset of it you kind of like start getting paranoid like oh is that is that dude like does he have something to do with it? Is that a stalker like who is that um yo 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 how did see that there's a note, I'm guessing. Uh, something, well, it's gotta be a note. Yep, I'm not gonna pretend that it's not. I don't, dude, I, I just caught like a, the white piece of paper out of the corner of my eye. I would have, I was about to walk away. Literally about to walk away. And then that, I, that caught my eye. We're still here. Of course you are. We're still here. You are not safe. This definitely looks like a note from the stalkers because they, you know, write in this type of edgy handwriting where they go over the same letter like three or four times. Oh, spooky. We're still here. You're not safe. I wonder what that means though, if they're referring, like, are they referring to like this moment in time? Like, I'm not safe right now? Or if they're referring to something else, like just in general, like you're not safe, we're still around, like they're letting me know. Which I didn't doubt that the stalkers weren't around, so it's kind of weird for them to send me, a, send me a note, especially when they, uh, when they like, you know, showed up the other day. 
when I, or other night I should say when I was out doing Randonautica. So it's not like it's not like I like like I don't believe that they're not here. So why would they why would they send me this unless this is somebody else? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. We're still here, you're not safe. I don't see anybody around here either. It's looking maybe across the river. Maybe maybe somebody was watching me or something like that. Or like, I don't know, maybe that car had something to do with it. Maybe there's somebody in that van over there. Maybe that's somebody. I don't, dude, I don't know. It is kind of weird to think about. Like, these guys could be watching me from anywhere. And I, you know, I'd be none the wiser. Alright, I'm going to get back in the car. Uh, but with that, dude, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm done for the day. I'm done. That's, that's it. All right, guys. So that does it for Rain and Nautica today. Very, very bizarre occurrences today. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to say about them. I, I really don't. It is interesting that we caught, I think we caught a planter on camera. That is, that is pretty, that's my, that's my win for the day. Um, other than that, like, more threats from stalkers, weird stuff, like, dude, we got a bunch of threats today, too. A case full of shells, like, um, this thing, like, return is near, some symbols on it, um... Yeah, we just, like, it's just, one for the money. That's the only one that I don't get. One for the money. Like, what does that mean? When we got that little Raggedy Ann figure. One for the money. That's the only one I'm kind of still, like, perplexed by. Like, that doesn't, that doesn't, like, make complete sense. What's one for the money mean? Hmm. Something to think about. But yeah, so guys, let me know, of course, your thoughts down in the comments, uh, your theories on this. If you think I'm right about the planters, or if you think it was just a big coincidence, maybe it was, I don't know. But uh, yeah, so I'm very happy, though, we did not have any stalkers show up, the physical presence of stalkers today. And that is kind of why I'm, I'm ending it now, because stalkers like to come out at night. And honestly, I just, you know, I'm just... And, and people always ask me, they're like, Dan, like, how do you do this? Like, you know, I, I could never, you know, it, it would, I just be too worried. Like if I'm running into all these stalkers, like, how do you do it? And the, the answer is like, like, it's not like it doesn't affect me. You know, it's not like, um, like I, uh, like it, like it doesn't bother me. Like, I, I don't like doing this. I don't like running into stalkers and, like, having weapons pull, pulled on me, point at me, and being threatened. Like, it sucks. But the thing is, is, like, these guys are super aggressive. And they, it's not, they want something. It's not like, right now, it's not like I'm going out to do Randonautica. You know, like, oh, let's go have fun and do Randonautica. I'm really excited. Uh, <laughs> it's not really like that. It's like... I mean, okay, it's partly like that, because we still do find some cool stuff that is pretty unique. But, like, it's, like, I'm trying to find a means to an end to this. Like, a means to the end of, like, stalkers. To get back to regular, fun, random nautica, like, exploring everything like it was meant for. So I'm trying to, like, just, I don't know. I'm just trying, I'm trying to get back, I'm trying to get done with this. I'm trying to get done with this whole stalker situation with the cult with the other stalkers like i'm just trying to like i know i i know if i do enough if i play their game i'm eventually going to find something like some like somehow they slip up and that will give me an advantage so 
Yeah, so yeah, doing random knock bothers me. Sometimes it sucks, you know. But uh, there's only one way to end it, and that is to keep playing. So, yeah, that's 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 why I do it. That's how I do it. And after a while, like it's it kind of this kind of sucks too. You become immune to it. Like you're like, oh, there's the stalker again. Like, which is bad because you know I've, there's been quite a few times where I've I, where I I've, I've let my guard down because you know I'm you know not too much like really phases me anymore. And yeah, I kind of yeah, which which isn't good. I shouldn't I should never let my guard down, but it happens. Like it happens with everything that you do too many times. But yeah, so that does it for today. Let me know what you guys think. Um, bunch of threats and possibly a planter on, on film. Interesting. Uh, moving on, guys, uh, if you haven't yet, make sure to go over to the new Cursed Urban Randonautica channel. I'm posting all our old Cursed Urban adventures on that channel. Um, or all our old Cursed Urban Randonautica, exclusively Randonautica videos on that channel. So you guys haven't seen some of our old ones and want to get caught up, check it out. I usually post one every other day, but I think I'm going to start posting every day because we have a lot. We have a ton. So, But new videos will be on this channel. So if you're looking for new Randonautica videos, they will still be on this channel. But please go check out those old ones. And also I was thinking about, let me know what you guys think about this. Should I put up some... Uh, like, I haven't done a Randonautica compilation in quite a while. I was thinking about putting up a new Randonautica, comp Randonautica compilation. You know, like a long one, like, you know, 7 to 10 hours. Um, just, you know, I know, because I know a lot of people like to have our videos on in the background, like, while they're doing stuff, like, while they're doing stuff around the house, or like, um, you know, while they're doing, like, cooking dinner or whatever, you know, they... They, you know, have videos on. So I was thinking about making an ultra long one so, like, you can just have it on as background noise. Because I know a lot of people watch videos for just for background noise. Myself included sometimes. Like, when I'm making breakfast or, like, lunch or something, I'll turn on a, uh, like, a, like somebody doing a travel vlog just to have it on in the background. So I was thinking about throwing another compilation up for that. Or if you just want to binge watch a bunch of our videos. So let me know what you think. Uh, other than that, check out the merch, check out the mystery boxes at relentlessdark.square.site. Link is in the description. Um, big shout out to our patrons and our YouTube channel members. Thank you guys so much for making today's video possible. I would not have gotten out here without you. Um, and all you guys, and if anybody, not all you guys, if anybody wants to support the channel, make sure to check out the links in the description. Um, a little bit goes a long way. It's like... Uh, yeah, channel memberships help help us out a ton with these videos. Like, pretty much everything that you guys donate gets reinvested back into these videos to help with gas, to help with camera, camera equipment that may break, like memory cards, um, you know, travel, like food, travel expenses, like everything. So all, all, your, all your donations pretty much get put back into this channel and in some way or another, whether it's, you know, camera, vehicle, or otherwise. So, um, big shout out to you guys for helping us out and, uh, taking, taking care of some of our, uh, our costs. Cause dude, even videos as simple as like going out and exploring with Rand Nautica, man, it, it racks up the, uh, racks up the cost, believe it or not. But, uh, all right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, thanks again for everything. I look forward to reading your comments and seeing what you have to say about this. Uh, make sure to hit those bells and subscribe if you haven't. A new video will be coming very soon, probably this weekend. And, uh, yeah, that about does it. Have a good night or day wherever you're at, and we will see you very soon on the next video. Peace out, guys.